morning pot coins. This is a different type of mad pot coins. I'm just going to talk about some ideas that I've had. There's been a lot of news about China, Russia, and the US lately, and how different governments are trying to deal with the concept of cryptocurrencies. This is my general impression of the views that most governments have had to the concept of cryptocurrencies. Let me start with a physics concept. Wave particle duality. Michael Faraday, James Clerk Maxwell, Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Max Planck, Richard Feynman, or any other physicist never asked their respective governments if light was a wave or a particle. And it would be insane if they did. They would and should immediately lose all credibility in the scientific community. It turns out that light is not a wave or a particle. It's not neither, and it's not both. It can be mathematically described as one or the other, depending on circumstances. Similarly, Potcoin is not a currency. It's not a property. It's a network that has the ability to act as property, currency, proof of property rights, notarized contracts, and so much more. If the US Congress put forth a bill that categorized light as a wave, would that change physics? No. If they convinced every other government on Earth to categorize light as a wave, would that change the laws of physics? Still, the answer is obviously no. How are governments able to break all laws of logic and assume they can control something that's decentralized? Without any knowledge on the topic, without accountability for their actions, and without the use of reason. No government has the right to regulate any cryptocurrency, yet they still try. It's as illogical as writing regulations for the laws of physics. Sure, they could do it, but it wouldn't change reality. No government created cryptocurrencies, they aren't using them, and they generally don't know anything about them. How is it even possible for any government to get the impression that they can regulate them? I don't have the right to steal your car. If I try to, there are consequences. But if I were a government, I could steal your car and no one would even hold me accountable and there would be no consequences for my actions. We need to hold our governments to the same rules that we're bound by. And it doesn't matter where you live, the US, UK, Canada, Russia, Germany, Italy, China, Cyprus, Brazil, whatever. All these places have different rules. And all of those rules are strict for the citizens and non-existent for the governments. That's like saying that in the US, light is a particle. And if I cross an imaginary line called a border, light would be a wave in Canada, except for the Prime Minister because light acts like a particle for him. This is so illogical that only someone with absolutely no knowledge on the subject could possibly be convinced to believe it. I think the only place that a government can have any jurisdiction is when a cryptocurrency is converted to a fiat currency. Other than that specific case, there is no reason any government should get anything from any cryptocurrency. If I trade a gram of pot for some pot coins, what could possibly lead any government to think I should give them a cut? Now if I were to sell my pot coins for dollars, okay, maybe they could want some control over that process. But if I trade my pot coins for bitcoins and buy something from bitcoinstore.com, I still can't imagine any scenario where any government has the right to tax that. When BitcoinStore.com converts Bitcoins to dollars, then maybe they should pay a tax. We're living in a world with amazing amounts of information. To make the conscious choice to reject all of the available information is insane. And to make up ridiculous laws without even attempting to understand this new concept is even more insane. Cryptocurrencies are as new and weird as quantum mechanics. No one could possibly imagine a government regulating quantum mechanics. How can anyone imagine a government is capable of regulating cryptocurrencies? No one capable of logical thought would walk into a fifth grade classroom 
and ask them to write regulations about cryptocurrencies because we know they have no knowledge on the subject. But when it's the government in question, we're expected to turn off logic as if it doesn't exist and just go on blind faith. You're expected to blindly believe that they know everything there is to know about the subject and that they're the best people to make the decisions that will determine the future. I don't have that type of faith in my government and I doubt that most people do regardless of what country you live in. I like to think that most people are not as dumb as governments want us to be, but it's hard to believe that when we let governments walk all over us and we let them pretend to make up rules for things they can't possibly control without ever even questioning anything that they do. I admit the possibility that I could be wrong about this. People can make mistakes. So shouldn't that hold true for any member of government? That they too can make mistakes? I would be willing to listen to anyone that can provide a logical explanation of why governments deserve to regulate cryptocurrencies. Maybe governments are magical things that are not bound by the laws of logic. Maybe they can even act outside the laws of physics. Please, someone try to convince me of that. If you can, I will gladly and loudly admit that I was wrong. But until someone can convince me, my logical conclusion is to believe that all governments attempting to regulate cryptocurrencies are wrong. What's worse is that we the people are hurting our respective governments. It almost doesn't matter what country or type of government you refer to, letting them think that they have these magical powers to do impossible things is just encouraging them to act irrationally. We need to realize that when regulations are put forth, they are not against uh, cryptocurrencies, they're against people. No government can file charges against a pot coin. They can't make a pot coin pay tax or a fine. They can't put a pot coin in jail. They can't kill a pot coin. They can't even threaten a pot coin's family. They can't regulate the network. They are only attempting to regulate people. And those regulations only work on people who choose to believe that governments have magical powers that can control you or cryptocurrencies or physics. Do not report any income from any cryptocurrency. Do not encourage any government to believe they have magic powers, especially if you're mining. Do not report that as income. But if you have the option, write off mining hardware and electrical costs on your taxes. If you have the option, write off capital losses. They need to pay back a little bit for their mistake. Hopefully, if people take back money from their governments, those respective governments will realize that they made a mistake. It's our duty as citizens to prevent governments from getting out of control. And the easiest way to do that is by not giving them money that they don't deserve. These are just some of the ideas that I've had from reading articles in the past few months. I could be wrong about any or all of this. Don't believe anything that I say. Question it. And if you come to the same logical conclusion, then and only then should you choose to believe it. If you can logically come to an opposite conclusion, please let me know in the comments below. All I ask is that people think for themselves. Also, let me know if you're interested in these different type of Mad Pot Coins philosophy videos, or if I should just go back to doing the standard news type content. That's all for this edition of Mad Pot Coins. Smoke them if you got them.